Once upon a time, in the heart of wild Australia, deep in the vast and boundless landscape of the outback, there lived a village of bandicoots. Morning, Sam. Hey, Bill! These bandicoots worked hard all year gathering food. Two vegetables, mushrooms, anything the land could provide. And provide, it did. When winter came, the land would be empty, but the bandicoot stockpile would be full. The bandicoots would celebrate with a big feast before settling in for the long winter. All their friends were invited. The emus, the wombats, the kangaroos. The koalas only like to eat eucalyptus leaves, but with the right spices, you can't tell the difference. Oh. The bandicoots were excellent cooks. The feast was happy and safe, hidden away from carnivores and scavengers and other monsters. Back then, the monsters lived far away in a mysterious island. Tasmania! And on Tasmania, there is one monster worse than all the others. A ravenous beast with long, sharp teeth, ready to eat anything in its path or anyone. Luckily for the Bandicoot Village, the monster stayed on the island. Or so he thought. That faithful night, while the village celebrated their feast, someone else was preparing for a feast of his own. The Tasmanian Terror! The Tasmanian Monster! The Tasmanian Devil! <laughs> No escape. Your daughter's quite the storyteller there. The, what's that? Oh, oh boy. Uh, uh, Quinn? Hey, hey, hey Quinn! <laughs> uh, uh, how would you like to learn how to grill, huh? Little uh, father-daughter bonding. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I, I think this uh, story might be uh, just a little too scary. Don't worry, Dad. A hero comes in and saves the day. The Lone Buckaroo! Scourge of the Carnivores, Hero of the Outback! Wow! Wow! Quinn, <laughs> Quinn, stop, please! Uh, hold on! <laughs> Look out! He's preparing a signature attack! The Tasmanian Devil Spin! That's not what the Tasmanian Devil does. Yes, it is. He spins around really, really fast. Yeah, but it's not a somersault. It's a cartwheel. Ha have you ever seen the Tasmanian Devil? Seen him? Well, no. But my dad knows all about him. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the Tasmanian Devil? Oh, man, that's so cool. How tall is he? How short is he? Wait, <laughs> this is my story. Yeah, well, I have uh, never seen the Tasmanian Devil, but I know a guy who knows a guy. Wow. I wish my dad knew guys. <laughs> oh, okay, does he cartwheel or somersault? Well, it's uh, more of a tornado kind of deal. Why did he leave Tasmania? Nobody knows. Uh, does he eat bandicoots? Well, he eats everything, so... It... How many of us could he fit in his mouth? Like, if he really crammed us in there? I don't know. Uh, three? Four? Oh, cool! <laughs> A monster waiting in the darkness to eat you alive. He's not gonna eat you. He, he may be scary, but the Tasmanian Devil hasn't bothered anyone in years. Which means he's hungry. Uh, no. Tonight's the night. He's coming for ya. Quinn, stop. He's gonna cry. Then I better tell him about the hero that will save him. The Lone Buckaroo. <laughs> Now, where were we? Charlie, I believe you're hiding behind that rock. Oh, Lone Buckaroo. Oh, hey, maybe this time the Lone Buckaroo's friends can help her beat the Tasmanian Devil. That way, everyone can play. Huh? What? Huh? Fine. Once a 
upon a time, there was a Tasmanian devil, and he fought the lone, as in a lone buckaroo. And her friend, the other lone buckaroo. No, there's only one of me. And her friend, Super Bandicoot! Me? No superpowers! You can only... <laughs> Come on, Quinn, why don't you join in? <laughs> the lone buckaroo works alone, even if that means getting eaten. <laughs> Sorry, Quinn, uh, let me just fix that for you. Yeah. Uh, it's just Ned. I thought it was a real crocodile. That's a real crocodile. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Hey, Ned, just in time for dinner. Oh, dinner? <laughs> One bandicoot-style eucalyptus leaf for the koala. Tastes mm. just like real eucalyptus. And for the crocodile, my own recipe, bandicoot-style veggie burgers. <laughs> Taste just like real, uh, <clears throat> bandicoots. I thought Ned was the crocodile that didn't eat bandicoots. Oh, no, 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 he doesn't. <laughs> Ned doesn't eat meat anymore. But he used to. Yep, that's how we met. I almost ate him. <laughs> so embarrassing. Yeah, uh, yeah, but 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 I told him I knew how to make veggie burgers that taste like meat. So now he eats them instead. They taste better than meat, and I don't even have to hunt. All the other carnivores think I'm crazy. I tell them hunting is for suckers. Bandicoot Village is where it's at. You don't actually tell carnivores to come to our village, do you? Hmm? No, no, no. I just tell them that if they tasted these burgers, they'd never eat meat again. Ow. <laughs> you should make more. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but this stockpile needs to last us through the winter. Oh, God, jeez. I don't want to eat all your food. Ow. <laughs> Now, why don't you tell me the recipe is so I can make my own? In no way. No, no, it's too dangerous. More dangerous than hunting? They're vegetables! They're just eggs laid by a tree. Okay, I don't actually know what vegetables are, but, but I know there's nothing dangerous about tossing them on a grill. Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Here, uh, let me show you. <laughs> okay, now it gets tricky. If you add too much scorpion venom, it's poisonous. But if you add too little, even more poisonous. Don't ask. Overcooking makes it explode, <clears throat> while undercooking gives it a weird aftertaste. Also melts your stomach. That took me years to learn, and I'm the only bandicoot that can do it. That's why this year's feast is so special. I'm gonna teach Quinn how to cook. <laughs> and where is she, anyway? <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> oh, there you are. How'd you like to learn how to grill, huh? Why? So I can bribe Ned to not eat me? It's not a bribe. Ned guards our village every night, and we feed him in return. He's our, he's our friend. I'm a vegetarian now. Yeah, now. How many bandicoots did you eat before my dad became your personal chef? Hmm. Uh, why don't you put those aside? I think I'm full. Quinn, wh where are you going? To my room. Unless you want to give that to some other kid, too. Hey, uh, how big is the room? My mom says my energy takes up a lot of space. Quinn. <sighs> you weren't very nice to Ned. So? He tried to eat you. Well, he didn't know any better. Ned has protected us for years. Anyone can change if you give him the chance. I wish we didn't need his help. Well, needing help is a good way to make friends. And the village has never been safer. It wasn't always like this. Now you're too young to remember, but there was a time when we were never safe. A time when I couldn't protect everyone. Now it's just you and me. I worry about you. I know. Well, that's why I wanted to teach you to cook. Maybe it'll get you out of trouble one day, like it did for me.